resolution radar right now still showing plenty of activity as we get down towards Cameron County and Willisee County. This is a live look out of our Beach Park. It is a Blanca camera right now and you're able to see uh, plenty of drizzle within the region as that continues to uh, start to create a bit slicker roads out there. So we zoom in towards Cameron County and you're able to see where some of the heaviest showers are. A majority of it out towards eastern Cameron County as you get out towards uh, more towards uh, getting closer to about SpaceX out there and you're noticing it just kind of uh, veers out just towards the east of Los Fresnos and Bayview, but Bayview seeing some heavy showers and then kind of wrapping around uh, Rio Hondo up to Arroyo City and seeing some drizzle out towards Santa Rosa and Harlingen and San Benito down into Olmito and the rest of Brownsville as well. So we'll continue to see that we move out towards the west. You're noticing some uh, light to moderate showers picking up for most of Willis County or excuse me for Star County, the southern portion of Star County, the northern part right now actually looking pretty calm. So as we look out towards uh, farther south, you're noticing plenty more showers are picking up. And granted, uh, I focused on those two counties, but you're noticing some rain uh, that kind of went through out towards Mercedes and uh, Westlaco as well. And then some more starting to build up just south of that. So all of the southerly flow that's coming up, you're starting to see more of them pick up. And I wouldn't be surprised if everyone at least got a shot of seeing some light to moderate showers. Now, Daily rain chance is still at about 50% for tomorrow uh, compared to 20% by Thursday and then kind of flat out towards the rest of the weekend. Uh, really, the best thing we're going to see is thunderstorms out here. Nothing looks severe as of now. And even as we fast forward over the next couple of days, uh, you're going to notice that we could continue to see rain overnight tonight leading into tomorrow morning. Again, nothing right now looking like it's going to be severe. And that's great news. We do need some of this rain to kind of flow through. But then a front comes in and that's going to change things up. As that front starts to approach, you're noticing things clearing out by Thursday into Friday. Friday should be just fine for football games. And then here comes that front overnight from Friday into Saturday, arriving sometime after midnight. It should be pushing through by the time you wake up early Saturday morning, feeling that nice little tingle of fresh feeling as that front finally pushes all the way in. Now, we do have an area of low uh, just downgraded to 0% chance of it developing over the next couple of days. Uh, and that's expected to be... Uh, to run into that front that's coming in and will veer out towards the east. No threat to the RGV. Now, again, future rainfall totals only keep us between a uh, half an inch to about an inch of rain. And then even then, that's kind of sketchy. It all depends on what you actually get in your region. Pockets of heavy showers. Seven-day forecast will see us warm up by Friday.